Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us on this Sunday. Another clear sky bringing us a gorgeous sunset, courtesy of our home of economy, Grand Forks Skycam Network. And we still had some of that upper level haze in the atmosphere that gave the sunset some red orange and pink hues as it was setting tonight. Another warm day across the valley. Many of us in those upper 80s to lower 90s. The warmest air was across the northern valley and northeastern North Dakota into portions of the James River Valley. 93 in Devils Lake, Jamestown and Harvey. 91 Cavalier, Hallock, Roseau and up towards Langdon. 90 today in Grand Forks. A touch cooler in the southern valley. 89 in Fargo and Park Rapids. 82 one of the cooler spots today in in Foston. Currently in Fargo, we're still at around 79 degrees, feels like 80. Breeze is out of the south at around 8 miles per hour. Over in Moorhead, currently 75, and our sunset tonight was at 915. In Grand Forks at this hour, 79 degrees with wind also out of the south at 8 miles per hour. Sunset at 920. Currently, temperatures are mostly in the 70s. Again, Foston, that cooler spot right at 70. 81, the warm spot in Devil's Lake. Satellite and radar quiet for the most part. Radar is showing a few sprinkles down towards Fergus Falls. I think that's just a radar glitch. Many of us are seeing clear skies out towards Dickinson today. A few showers and thunderstorms non severe, and it looks like a few more are developing just south of I-94 uh, on the Minnesota or on the Montana side of the border. Now in your hour by hour forecast for the rest of the night, I do expect clear skies to continue and temperatures falling into the 70s for the most part. Waking up tomorrow morning to upper 60s, lower 70s sets us up for another very hot day. We will have a weak cold front pushing down that could bring a few spotty showers and storms across northern Minnesota during the afternoon, non severe, uh, but the better chance of some uh, showers and storm activity will be across the northern valley in our Minnesota counties as we head into the evening hours around dinner time and later. Again, not necessarily severe. There might be a few strong ones and some locally heavy rain, but the ingredients just aren't there to create any severe weather. Temperatures in the low 90s, nearly across the board for tomorrow. So have ways to stay cool and stay hydrated. I have a half gallon water bottle that I'll be taking with me all week to make sure I stay hydrated. Speaking of hydrated, the atmosphere might bring us a little bit of moisture this week. Not looking like widespread rain, but some hit and miss shower and thunderstorm activity right now looking like the best chance comes on Friday. But first, take a look at this amazing shot of the hazy sun. Good night, Deer Creek is the name of this photo. Thank you to Mark for taking the time to upload your photo to valleynewslive.com. Now in your seven day forecast, the heat will continue to build that first alert weather day still in effect for Wednesday, 99 degrees. Definitely a hot one and we could uh, see some thunderstorms both Tuesday and Wednesday, but we stay hot all week long. Again, another chance of storms Friday in the shade right now. It's looking like we might cool down just a couple of degrees next weekend, but 90s all week long. Yeah, I guess I'll have to follow suit and get me a half gallon bottle. We can <laughs> I'll borrow you mine. Okay. It seems <laughs> no, intimidating, <laughs> but it'll be so hot you'll need it, like you say. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Summer. Still to come.